Some students had problems with this example. We're trying to find the capacity of a trapezoidal prism, which means the volume of a trapezoidal prism. Why is it called the trapezoidal prism? Because the trapezoid defines its shape. There's a trapezoid in the front, there's going to be a trapezoid in the back, if you can imagine that. And just like in any prism, we have to find the volume by calculating the area of the base times the height. Well, if the base is the trapezoid, where's the height? Sure, there's a height inside of this trapezoid, but that's not the height of the prism. The height of the prism is the distance between the two trapezoids, which is 30 centimeters. Got to get that straight. Of course, then people have difficulty finding the area of the trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid is the average of the two bases times the height of the trapezoid. Remember, this is a parallelogram, or at least it's supposed to be a rectangle, I suppose, but 15 centimeters would also be 15 centimeters here. So when I'm trying to find the area of the trapezoid, and then I'm going to multiply it by the height, I've got to take into account those parallel sides. The area, of the, uh, that's the volume we're calculating. So the area of the trapezoid is going to be 15 plus 6, that's my two bases, averaged, so you divide by 2, times the height of the trapezoid, and then multiply by the height of the prism. If you want to put that in brackets to clarify what you're doing, it's a great idea. We basically worked this through. 21 divided by 2 is 11.5 times 17. I'll have to look that one up. 11.5 times 17 times 30. And that's going to give us the volume. But I asked for the capacity. At the end of it all, you're going to get an answer in cubic centimeters. But that's the same thing as milliliters. Just do the calculation to get that number.